I see him on a fishing trip. I hear how professional a fisherman he is. And I saw six ladies beat him fishing one day. Is that my pen? Is that my pen? No, I found that. That's mine. Over that chair? Yeah. I've got some cousins here that didn't know I was their cousin today, and they probably won't tell nobody else they're related to me, but this is the first time they've got to see or hear me. So they'll know the next time not to come when they hear about it, won't they? But here's, here's my version of Lost John from Bowling Green. Y'all have all been to ready? Bowling Green here, haven't you? We're ready. Better go. I'm <clears throat> close enough here when I say Bowling Green, they know where I'm talking about. John Bowling Green, no hand on his head, no shoes on his feet, he's begging the women for his bread and his meat. One woman said, John, what can you eat? He said, four nine biscuits and a ham and meat. He's long gone. He's long gone. He's long gone from Bowling Green. Don't leave, Kathy. It ain't that long. Now, Lost John's sitting on a railroad track. He's awake for a freight train to come back. The freight train come along, skip it in a flying. He missed a car, catch a bit, caught the blind. He's long gone. He's long gone. He's long gone from Bowling Green. I don't look like I'm in a crowd for rap music, but I've always got to rap one person to sing. <laughs> Double ACP, get after if you don't rap at least one verse of the song now. Well, I ain't going down to Lost John's house, I'll tell you the reason why. He blowed his nose in the cornbread and he called it raisin pie. He was long gone. He's long gone. He's long gone from Golden Green. Yeah, Lost John went in a woman's house. He just walked right in. It's quiet as a mouse. Home said, Lost John, it's self cheer. I'm going to send the porter for a bucket of beer. I'm going to bucket it and mind the beer because the hound's on the trail. I can't stay here. I got to get along. He's long gone. He's long gone. The bowling green. I play, they don't know you're supposed to clap after you play a real hard line, run like that. <laughs> Sometimes you have to tell them to applaud for you. Oh, I'm glad you don't have to do that in Allegory, though. <laughs> yeah, the ugliest fella that ever seen was long lost John Bowling Green. His eyes was red and his gums was blue. Lord, first keep that fella in view, gotta get along. He's long gone. He's long gone from Bowling Green. I'll do that little serious verse. The one that made me think of Mr. Jarvis. <laughs> now lost John went to the girly show. And he picked out a seat down on the front row. Now the girls come out and they done a little dance. <laughs> and they had to carry him away into ambulance because he's long gone. He's long gone. He's long lost John Ramon. Me and Bob gonna pick pick a slow one and a fast one here, and then I'm gonna get out. I want Miss Martin to pick one for you, maybe. And then we got Tim Bowers here. He's gonna pick. What about old King? Getting Moses' pig song. Oh, Mo, made me think. I I meant to pick. Where's my dancing boy at? Is he gone? Who that? Steve Record? Where's he at? <laughs> you holler at him, me and Bob will pick something. I'll do the pig song while he's out there coming. He's always got a dance one for me. Who's that record? Here, here's a song, I wish it had three more verses to it. Randall, write me two or three more verses to this little song. You're the guy that can do that. But this is a lovely little tune. One evening in October, I was far from being sober. I was taking home a load of manly pride. 
the feet begin to stutter and I laid down in a gutter and a pig walked up and parked right by my side now be warned of stormy weather when drinking fellers get together and a lady passing by was heard to say you can tell anyone who boozes by the company that he chooses and the pig got up and slowly walked away <laughs> Did you find that guy? He better hurry, because I'm playing this just for him. <laughs> Somebody get the egg basket. We're going to gather the eggs if a dancing man gets here. I don't hear his taps. Now, there he's coming. What's his name? I can't, ever, I can't remember. Howard Floyd. Howard? Stonebow. Yeah, come in. I've been waiting for you. You're holding the show up here. You're not going to get all your money for being laid out there. I know them, them doors is hard to get open on that thing. Somebody forgot to flush it, too. But you get ready. Here's, this is just for you. I'd like to get up here. I'd like, to, if y'all don't know it, Miss Essie Martin Hines is my auntie. Uh, uh, my auntie. And uh, I want her and my mom get up here and do a little for you. We got Bob Saxon play a little sugar wood right there. Come on up here. I know you got a bony leg, but it's all right. Come on, Come on. You, don't have to, you, don't have, you don't have to do the whole jitterbug, just part of it. You ain't got shrimp in you, lady. No. I have. Come on, just a little bit. Come on. <laughs> this is this is what you call the Kirkmansville clock. <laughs> Bob plays real good backup and 
front up and everything on when he plays, don't he? One of the best guitar players I've ever seen. He, he ranks in the Odell Martin class, and there ain't very many ranks in that class.
Yeah. You just get on cruise control when you got Bob Saxon with you. Well, I appreciate y'all listening to me, you know, while I've done my part here. Where's Miss Ellis at? Is she gonna come up here for me? Huh? Went out. Uh, well, several of them went out when I started playing and singing. Is Tim gonna play my guitar? She's coming. She wanted to see our ex pastor. Ex pastor. That's sort of like an ex wife or something. Did y'all divorce him? <laughs> He's 11 years old. No, no, no. If I said 11, they thought she was a child prodigy, though. He's 14 years old. He was 11 about three years ago. Look at that face.
African-American blues for you.
guitar since uh and Odell used to have to tune it for me and he'd get to tune it on it and he'd say uh guitar's just like uh like my wife got a fool with her <laughs> here's one called Clayton Delaney Odell and I used to have a lot of fun with this Hey, Bob, you got a tighter pick than this. You got a small one. I got small thumbs. Yeah, this one's a little tighter. We'll get going an hour or two here. I remember the year that Clayton Delaney died. For the last two weeks that he suffered and cried He made a big impression on me Although I was a barefoot kid They said he got religion at the end And I'm glad that he did Now Clayton was the best guitar picker in our town I thought he was a hero And I used to follow Clayton around and I often wondered why Clayton, who seemed so good to me, never took his guitar and made it down in Tennessee. Well, Daddy said he drank a lot, but I could never understand. I knew he used to pick up in Ohio with a five-piece band. Clayton used to tell me, son, you better put that old guitar away. There ain't no money in it that'll lead you to an early grave. Here comes Bob. Well, I guess 
just about admitted Clayton taught me how to drink booze. I can see him half stoned now picking out the lovesick blue. When Clayton died, I made him a promise I was gonna carry on somehow. I'd give a hundred dollars if I could only see him now. Yeah, I remember the year the Clayton Delaney died. Nobody ever knew it, but I went out in the woods and I cried. Now I know there's a lot of big preachers that know a lot more than I do. But it could be that the good Lord likes a little picking too. Yeah, I remember the year the Clayton Delaney died. Yeah, let me try this pick. This is a yeller pick. Maybe I just wear two of them. <laughs> we was down in Chattanooga one night, me and Odell, and we, we um, walked into a place. And word got out that Odell Martin was in the house, and, and uh, Thumbs Carlisle was playing. And uh, I don't know if you knew Thumbs Carlisle, but he laid, he could play electric guitar, and he played it like this. And the guy was awesome. So he got, uh, he got Odell on the stage, and they were playing uh, Sugarfoot Rag. And they started out real mild, slow, like it's supposed to be played. So Thumbs would take a break and then uh, on the tune, and then Odell would take a break. Then thumbs would come back and it'd get just a little faster. Then Odell would come back, play another one, a round of it, and it would get faster. And this song went on for 30 minutes. Tune me up there, Bob. <laughs> yeah. I'm a great player, but I can't tune one. No, I'm kidding. But anyway, that song went on for 30 minutes and Odell he, he took the last ride on the song because old Thumbs had just about thumbed out. He couldn't handle it no more and tore the place down. So Odell and I went around a lot of places and we had a lot of fun and we, um, we picked a lot, of, a lot together and uh, my place out in Daysville, if it hadn't been for Odell Martin, that place wouldn't exist. Because Odie came, he, he quit the road with uh, Donna Fargo, I think he was playing with, and uh, came by my place and he said, um, you got a job? I said, well, what can you do, Odie? He said, anything you want me to do. And I said, well, I can't pay you what you, uh, what you make out there on the road. He said, I don't want any pay, I just want a job. So I gave him a job. So after a few months went by, he, he came into the office one day and he said, um, you know what, I'd like to have a little place around here to pick and invite my friends in. And so I, I owned this little piece of property out there in Daysville. And I thought about it and I said, well, I think I'll just build one. So I went out there and I, I stuck up some stakes. Odell didn't know anything about this. So I stuck up some stakes and uh, the building was, uh, 40 some feet wide and 240 feet long. So I took Odie out there and I said, here's where we're gonna build that little place you wanna pick and grip. He said, it just blew him away. He said, ain't no way we can ever fill this place up. I said, yeah, we can. I said, flea markets and country music, people like one or the other. You take care of the shows and I'll take care of the business. So he worked there a year and then he got himself uh, killed about uh, probably no more than six, seven miles from where he grew up. And I've thought about it a lot of times and I, I, I thought, well, maybe the place wasn't meant to be um, what we started out to be. And Odell was the inspiration that um, got it built. 
so it's closed now, and I don't, I don't know what the real reason that I built it, but uh, unless it was Odell. So here's an old song that we used to do, and uh, I'll do this for Odie's mama. It's called Old Pals. Whatever key this is, Bob. I am thinking of you tonight, old pal of mine. And wishing that you were here I remember the times and the days gone by When you fill my heart with cheer I remember the nights when all along we sing sweet out of mind And no other face can take your place In my heart, oh pal of mine The old pals are always the best you see New friends you can find every day But they can't take their places or ever be Like the old pals of yesterday I'm wondering just where you are tonight and if you ever think of me It would make my weary heart so light Sweetheart, your face again to see But in my checkered life I find Nothing comes right it seems so you'll always be a pound of mine, but maybe only a dream. The old pounds are always the best you see. New friends you can find every day. But they can't fill their places or ever be Like the old pals of yesterday Thank you. There's an old Jimmy Rogers song written in about uh, 1928. Great song. Is she okay? Thank you. Yeah, we'll do you a little, uh, little rambling fever. Whatever key that is, baby. Caught this rambling fever long ago When I first heard that lonesome whistle blow If anybody said I gave a damn The damn show told you wrong Cause I've had rambling fever all along Rambling fever The kind that can be measured by degree Rambling fever There ain't no kind of cure for my degree <laughs> James, you want to play this guitar? Come up here Sometimes life 
black bug down on the sofa and let some pretty lady rub my back. Spend the early morning drinking coffee, talking about when I'll be coming back. Cause I don't let no woman tie me down. And I'll never get too old to get around. I want to die out on the highway and run away like some old highline pole and rest this rambling fever in my soul. Rambling fever, the kind that can be measured by degrees. Rambling fever, there ain't no kind of cure for my disease. Pick it one more time, Bob. <laughs> Did I see Darby come in? Darby Henderson. She's a. She's a. Yes, sir. I hate to ask anybody, but we need to move up a little more if they can. We've got to set up some more tables right in here. Yeah, y'all come right on up front. 